Greetings, Grey Witch here. So today we're going to do the finale of the, one of the chop shop robberies, the one Later. for the cargo ship. I've already done all of the setups, so we're just going to go ahead and just do the fun part. I'm not saying that the setups aren't fun, because they're actually pretty cool. Actually, the whole DLC has been pretty neat. The only problem I really have is with a cooldown. That's something for another time. So, as you can see, everything's done. All the optional masks, everything, I did it all. You know, why not? So let's head over and get this thing going. So I already had my helicopter out here, so that was beneficial. If not, you're going to be driving or flying whatever you brought. All right, so we're gonna head over to where the boat is, and that one was probably the most difficult of the setups to do, which really wasn't that difficult, but for the fighting and trying to shoot your way out of something, that was probably the one that had the most difficulty. And they'll spawn you right in the middle of the room too, it's crazy. Trying to just gently set this down without any kind of chaos. I don't know why I tried to do the most difficult helicopter landing I could possibly come up with. Alright, so I'm in my fancy duds, which you had to go steal too. It's another setup, which is like I'm saying, they're not they're not difficult at all. A lot of them. And the ones that are spread out around the map kind of are a bummer, but it's still kind of cool. I'm just complaining because it's new. One thing I really want to know is I wonder how they got that boat down there without a boat ramp. Hmm. He just threw it over the side. Alright, so now... Get some armor on, make sure I'm good. Ooh, I don't have much. But that should be plenty. Oh, now we got to do this with a soggy ass. Head out to open sea. Mm. Must be a hurricane. Can't even keep this boat in the water. Alright, let's try to keep the boat on in the water. If they wanted me to spend so much time in the air, why didn't I just fly out here? No. I don't like that code name. My code name is Hippie One Kanoe. Always. That's my call sign. Alright, so now we're going to climb up this chain. And what I want to know is what happens when he gets up to the chain locker. Because people who know about boats know. They just conveniently leave this part out. He's like, yeah, we're going to climb the chain. How's he get up there? I guess my character has some Spider-Man skills because he climbed the extra 20 feet. Just all willy-nilly. Anyway, we're on the ship. So now we got to sneak past a whole bunch of people. And it's not really that difficult. You can literally just walk right past these guys. But don't get too close and too comfortable. Because they will start shooting. Don't pull any guns out because they'll also start shooting. So just act like you belong here. It's pretty simple. Go this way, because the way that I take is kind of it, it's it's weird, but it works. You see, look right here. You can't get past this guy. He's got a flashlight. It's daytime. Up 
Here we go. Whoop. I went right past it. And as long as you keep moving, it seems like you don't really have any problems. But once you stop and start trying to figure things out, that's when everybody starts getting all weird wanting to shoot you. Just keep moving. Right. Drop down here. Almost there. Straight up across. Uh oh, he's coming. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. And I like how you need these boxes to climb up the front, but you don't need to climb up the side. Hmm. And I learned this the first time. If you come all the way up here where this part is, you can get over here by just doing this. It's not pretty, but it's effective. And if that works, and it saves you a whole bunch of people you don't have to go around. Just come back here, come up the ladder, stair thing. Make sure he doesn't turn around. And here we are. Now the fun part starts. It's just like standing right there and we'll get out of your way or Ooh, not explosives, not stun gun. Oh, this will work. There we are. He's down. Now these guys have really good armor. I wish my armor was as good as these guys. Oh, machete guy tried to do something. Ah, uh, Mendoza's down. Alright, so now you gotta find the exact spot where you can search this guy. Grab this bonus armor right here. Excellent. Once you got the codes, use the terminal to figure out which containers might have the car. And it's really good that this is a bulletproof window. Alright, now we know which containers to open. So now let's get out. First thing we gotta do is we gotta take down this helicopter. Carefully come out to the edge of this and shoot down the pilot. There we go. Oh, somebody's shooting me. I can't see where they are. I'm gonna have to break out the thermal imaging. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Find him now. Gotcha. Alright, make sure anybody else is gonna get sneaky. Take a look around. Alright, let's mosey on down. Can't go that way, we'll go this way. Come on. Now, the only bad problem with this is the guys don't show up all the time. If they're not moving, you can't see them. So you kind of have... What I do is I shoot a lot. Oh, this sucks. Well, that was about the worst place I could have fell. So what I'll do is I'll shoot at random times to make the dots move or alert or whatever. There's someone around here. I don't know where he's at. He must be above me. He should be. Right there. He's got to be above me. Oh well, he is not a threat right now. These guys are. Oh, stuck on this, whatever this is. Ooh, somebody shot me. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Dang, he got me again. Come on, where's my shotgun? Uh, this will have to work. Nope. Did not lock onto the guy at all. Let's shoot some random shit. That's cool. He's down. Better weapon. And I just put that armor on. Alright, so let's head up here and start popping open containers. Like I said, can't jump up here. Can't climb this. So you gotta come down here to where this box is. But then you can climb up the side. Ah, it's, it's a mystery. Now I'll bring out the bolt cutters. 
Let's see what's in box number one. Oh, that's no bueno. Close that back up. And see, I should not be able to take any damage during those scenes like that. This way. Gotta go to that container. Let me jump across. Nope. That's what I needed to get to take that guy out anyways. Very good armor. Alright. Cut this one open. Because of course it's not going to be this one. It's going to be the very last one. Where are these guys? Oh, we got guys in boats now. See, that's a problem with not being able to do these back-to-back -back anytime I want to, like regular missions. Because I have to learn as I'm doing this, and this is the only second time I've done this. Oh, that's full of something. See, I should not be able to take damage like that. That's BS. Well, we gotta go that way anyway. I am tired of people shooting me. And I've been on cargo ships before. No one stacks cargo like this. No one. This is completely haphazard, and no one would do this. Man, I wish my armor was that good. Guy in a damn boat just shooting me with a 22 or something, just sitting there constantly planking my <laughs> armor and health away. Alright, it's finally here. So the very nice. And we gotta put a flare on it. No, a flare. Oh, there we go. Would not let me attach that for some reason. Watch it'll let me drop all the way down here with no. Isn't that awesome? Any other place you drop down, it makes you fall on your face. All right, so now we're going to jump in the helicopter. And the cool thing is, I did the optional mission to get rid of the air support. So I'm only going to have a few helicopters that I have to deal with. So while I'm waiting for them to show up, I'm going to take out any guys that are still on the ship. Mainly just because I like doing this. I've been thinking about buying one of these. The Sea Sparrow? Pretty cool. I don't really go out in the water a lot, which is kind of a shame because we have so much water and we don't have any real stuff to do with it. Alright, so here comes the helicopters. Yeah, I can't believe I got them that easy, as much as they've nerfed these missiles. can't be just that easy. So there's something over here to the left, waiting. can barely make it out. Right over here. Looks like a savage helicopter. Can't tell. Because of the damn rain and fog. Is it a savage? It's a damn tower. Oh my. Looks like I need to make a appointment at the eye doctor. I'm gonna blame it on the rain and fog though. So anyway, we're taking this to wherever. I don't know, the last time we uh, did this, it just dropped it right over there at the helicopter landing pad. I don't know why they changed it for this one unless they do it differently every time. So I have no idea where we're going. And I wonder why we never got that helicopter. From all the stuff that they've given us. 
We've never had that one to buy. Hmm. Wonder. Where are you going? My salvage yard is 10 miles in the other direction. I see where it's going. It's going to this parking garage. It's going to land on the roof. I thought it was going to land right down there in Little Hollywood or something. This makes more sense. Even though it's a hundred miles away from where I need to be. Let's land this thing. Just take your time. It's fine. Back up in case I'm trying to keep it from doing something. Wouldn't that be funny if I shot it with a missile right there? <laughs> Hit the wrong button getting out. Destroy the car and the helicopter. That'd be awesome. Now all we gotta do is drive it back to the salvage yard. Come on, Eleanor. Let's see if I can get you back in one piece. Or at least without a scratch. Got one of these cars tucked away in a garage somewhere. I really like driving this one. Ooh, it's a little squirrely. Pretty decent engine sound, too. I'm getting dizzy. Alright, we're out. Oh, what me get me? So, of course, I bought the chop shop that was the furthest away from the city because I figured the ones in the city would be the ones where everybody with the pressers would be hanging out, so. I didn't want to be there. Plus, kind of a miser, and I didn't really want to spend the money. Well, so much for not a scratch. That did not work out the way it was. It seemed like it was going to work out in my mind. Oh, we got a visitor. Bad guys are behind us. Far back is he? Oh, he's a pretty good ways. See, he should still be back there. This respawning up here in front of me—that's—that's that's no good. It should not be allowed. <laughs> oh, look at him! He wanted to jump out in front of me and do something squirrely. Cars are chaos in this game now. And I can't wait till GTA 6. As dense as the traffic looks in some of those videos and scenes, oh, it's going to be a nightmare trying to outrun cops and stuff like that. I can't wait. Well, looks like we have a visitor. Shooting my car. Why would you pull out in front of me like that? I know I ran a red light, but still, why would you do that? All right, so we're almost here. We're going to take this inside and hang on to it for a little while because we still have to sell it, which is a whole other thing by itself. It's not very difficult. You just have to drive it to the docks, but every car in the world tries to kill you when you do it. Yep, before you give them, they give you money, they're going to take money. A 
Well, looky there. No lives lost. Reach the bridge undetected. 80% sky lift health remaining. All challenges complete. Bonus reward. Very, very well. That's very good. It's a decent car. I'm about to find Man, mine. My uncle's gonna be Ooh, mad. look at that. A perfect run. Awesome. All right, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helped you out. I will see you next time. Peace.